today we are going to be learning about solid figures. So these are three dimensional shapes. The ones we're learning about today are sphere, cylinder, cone, cube, rectangular prism, pyramid. So I looked around my apartment to see if I could find examples of these solid figures. So let me show you what I found. I found a golf ball, which is a sphere. I found a can of vegetables, which is a cylinder. I found a funnel, which is used for cooking, which is very close to the shape of a cone. I found a dice, which is the shape of a cube. I found a puzzle box, which is the shape of a rectangular prism. I couldn't find an object, so I made it. Here is a pyramid. Here are some important words that you should know. Flat surfaces, or sometimes they're called faces, are the flat parts on a solid figure. The edges are where two flat surfaces meet and make a line. And the vertex, or the vertices, is where two or more edges meet. So let's start with a sphere. Does a sphere have any flat surfaces? No, it has zero flat surfaces. Does it have any edges? No, it has zero edges. Does it have any vertices? Nope, it has zero vertices. What are some real life examples of spheres that you can think of? I can think of any type of ball, the earth or a globe, and an orange. Let's look at a cylinder. So does a cylinder have any flat surfaces? Let's count. It has one on the top and one at the bottom. So that has two flat surfaces. But a cylinder doesn't have any edges and it doesn't have any vertices. What other real life examples of cylinders can you think of? I can think of a candle, a toilet paper roll, and a battery. Let's look at a cone. And for my example, we're going to pretend this top part here is not there, and we're gonna pretend that the bottom is covered. So on a cone, how many flat surfaces are there? If you said one, that is correct because the bottom is considered a flat surface. And actually for a cone, it has zero edges and it has zero vertices. Even though the top part here might kind of look like a vertex, it actually doesn't count because a vertex is only when two edges meet. What other examples of real life cones can you think of? I can think of an ice cream cone, a traffic cone, and a birthday hat. All right, let's do a cube now. And this one is a little bit harder. So let's start by counting the flat surfaces. And I like to start at the front and then work my way back to the back. So on the front, the one that you're looking at, this is one flat surface, two, three, four, five. And if we count the one on the back, that's six flat surfaces. Okay, now let's count the edges. And we have to make sure that we don't count any edges twice. That can be confusing sometimes. So again, I like to start on the front and then work my way to the back. We have one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna count the top, five, six, the bottom, seven, eight. Flip it around so you can see. This is the back now. And we're gonna count nine, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 edges on a cube. Let's count the vert vertices. So the vertices are where two or more edges meet. So they're the little corners or points. Again, let's start at the front. So we have one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna spin it around for you. Five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight vertices on a cube. What other examples of cubes can you think of? I can think of a cardboard box an ice cube, and a building block. Now let's look at the rectangular prism. So this puzzle box looks like a rectangular prism. And rectangular prism is very similar to a cube, except it's just stretched out. So actually the number of flat surfaces, edges, and vertices are all going to be the same. So that's six flat surfaces, that's 12 edges, and that's eight vertices. What other examples of rectangular prisms can you think of? I can think of a fish tank, a shoe box, and a microwave. Okay, here is a pyramid that I made out of paper. 
So let's count the flat surfaces, edges, and vertices. So for the pyramid, I'm going to start by counting around, and then I'm going to count the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, and then the bottom, five flat surfaces. All right, now let's count the edges. And with a pyramid, I like to count the edges on the bottom first around the square and then work my way up to the top. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the bottom. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight edges. Okay, now let's count the vertices. And again, I find it easier to start with the vertices at the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, and then go to the top, five at the tippy top. So there are five vertices. What other examples of a real life pyramid can you think of? I can think of the Egyptian pyramids, a tent, and a roof to some houses. It was so much fun looking around my apartment for objects that were solid figures. So I challenge you to look around your own house or your own apartment and see which solid figures you can find.